Welcome, today I have Samsung Galaxy M52 5G and I will show you a couple camera tricks. So in this phone you can find a lot of useful options and I'm going to show you all of them. So with the first I'm going to start from the photo mode. When you are here we can easily increase or decrease brightness level. When you tap on the screen and move this sound icon, as you can see we can adjust brightness level manually. So we can take a photo with this brightness level and also with this one. You can also set up automatically by tapping on the screen. Take a look on the difference. As you can see we can easily change it. And that's how the photos looks. Definitely where we get more brightness it looks better. We can also quickly add timers to our shutter by tapping here. We can add 2, 5 or 10 seconds. And take a look when you select 2 seconds and tap on the shutter. The photo will be taken after 2 seconds. We can also change the aspect ratio by the top here. As you can see we can pick 3x4, 9x16, 1x1 and also the full screen. But you have to remember that the aspect ratio also changes the image quality. So as a default it's the best to go for the 3x4 and also to turn on the 64 megapixel mode. And when you go for the 64 megapixel mode, you will find on your photo definitely more details. So I will show you how it works. As you can see, it's turned on and I'm going to take a photo of this package that is in front of me. And right now I'm going to the same photo, but without this mode. Okay, and let's take a look on the difference. So that's the photo taken with the normal mode. It looks like that, not that bad. We can find a few details here. And we can also go for the 64 megapixel, where we can definitely spot better quality on this photo. Take a look. One more time for this normal mode. and for the 64 megapixel. So if you want to catch more details on your photo, just take photo with the 64 megapixel mode in the smartphone. Uh, we can tap also right here on the right upper corner where we can add filters. So as you can see, we can find few default filters. Uh, we can easily change the temperature and the colors while using them. Let's make a photo with this one, this one, And this one. Also we can adjust here the intensity of the filter. Uh, you can also find the default filters right here and you can pick at the face beauty mode. Take a look on the photos. I hope that you can spot the difference right here. Okay and honestly I think that's all from the photo mode. When we go for the video mode, we can make the same uh, with this brightness level, so we can increase or decrease. We can also quickly enable the image stabilization, so we get this super steady mode, but you have a spot that right now we switch to the normal lens, as you can see. Uh, when we are here, we can also change the quality of our videos, so we can go for the full HD 60 frames per second or 4K 30 frames per second. And honestly, that's all from these modes that we can find right here as a default. We can go for the more modes uh, where we can find, for example, the macro mode. Oh, it looks like it's some kind of the filter. Or no, okay, it's just the macro lens. So when you grab, for example, this plant and put it close, like that. We can hit this kind of the macro photo. We can also turn on the flash to get more brightness. So if you like if you like to use the if you want to shut the ma um, the macro photos 
it looks honestly not that bad. With the flashlight it looks definitely better. Okay, and when we are uh, in the more modes, uh, we can also find the AR doll. So take a look when you turn it on. Uh, I'm going to use uh, the selfie because when you try to use it on the rear, we have to download external mode. So let's go for the selfie. Right now it's switched to the front camera, as you can see. And I'm gonna put it a little bit, I mean, a little bit back. And as you can see, we can draw something. And as you can see, it will stay on the screen. And right now we can record video uh, with this funny parts of the screen. We can also take photo and that's how it looks. Take a look. We can also take photo. Okay, I'm gonna have to remove all this stuff. And honestly, that's all from this mode. Right now we are going to move for the settings uh, where we can find, for example, the swipe shutter button option. So when you swipe our shutter, we can take bear shot or create GIF. Take a look. So right now we are going to take series of the photos and we can store them right here. If you want to save one of them or a few of them, you can just simply select and then tap right here. We can delete unselected photos. <clears throat> and here we have it. The another option that we can find here is the grid lines. When we enable them, we'll find this help grid lines and also the camera leveler. So if you want to put object in the middle, you are able to make it definitely easier. For example, these two keyboard buttons. Let me just turn off the flashlight. As you can see, they appear in the middle in the photo. Okay, uh, we can also find the location tags. So when you enable this option and grant permission for the location, right now when you take photo or video, uh, you will find the exact location where this photo was taken. Okay, unfortunately it's not to turn it on, so let's reset the camera. Let's turn on and turn off location. And right now let's open the camera one more time. Be sure that this option is enabled. Yes, it is. Okay, unfortunately still it's not working. Um, it's probably some kind of debug. Maybe they will fix it in the next uh, updates. And uh, normal cases when you enable this option, uh, you will find the exact location of the photo or video. Okay, right now it works as you can see. So I don't know what is going on. You have to wait maybe a few moments. But right now we got the exact location of the photo. Here we can find also the shutting method so we can change the volume keys function. We can zoom in or out and control system volume or just take picture or record video. So currently when I tap on the volume up or down button, I can take photo. So it just works as a shutter. But you can also use to zoom in or zoom out. And that's what I can recommend you to set it up. Take a look. When I press volume up button, I can smoothly zoom. Maybe I'm gonna put this plant right here. So as you can see, we can zoom to the 10 times. So it's definitely easier than pinching screen with our two fingers, right? And it looks very smooth, by the way. So that's the another cool and useful option. We can also 
take photo by using the voice comment so we can say smile cheese capture or shot smile as you can see photo was taken then another option that we can find here is floating shutter button and also palm but let's focus on the sh floating shutter as you can see the shutter appears right here on the screen and it works the same like this one so when you hold phone like that and you cannot reach your normal shutter you can press right here and the photo will be also taken if you want to attach this shutter to this one just just drag it like that and also we can take photo by showing palm of our hand okay probably it works only on the front camera so let's switch as you can see right now the photo will be taken so yeah that's the another option and the last option that we can find here is the watermark so I'll take a look when we enable this option we can custom our signature and right now when you take photo on the left bottom corner we will find this watermark of our Samsung smartphone so I think that's all if you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe.